Life naturally slows down in winter. The days grow shorter. Light becomes scarce. And we respond by blinding ourselves in front of the television or hiding under the covers to stay warm. But how do you know when a seasonal slump is a more serious problem? Well, seasonal affective disorder is a category of depression that emerges in particular seasons of the year. Most people notice its symptoms starting in the fall and increasing during the winter months. But a few people experience a spring-summer version. Now let's take a look at the most highlighted signs of seasonal affective disorder. But before we go deeper into our topic, we need your support by liking this video, subscribing to our channel, and please click the bell icon to receive new video updates. The first sign, your genes say so. People with a family history of seasonal affective disorder and depression are more susceptible to it, as found by doctors. So ask around to see if there's any family members that have struggled with seasonal affective disorder. According to the National Institutes of Health, your chances of developing seasonal affective disorder are greater if a first-degree relative, such as a parent or sibling, also battles or has battled the condition. A recent statistic suggests that about 15% of people with seasonal affective disorder also have a relative suffering from it. Second, your energy is low. If you are continually hitting the snooze button and still can't roll out of bed or make it through the day, it may be time to seek professional help. Getting up early in the morning and exposing ourselves to lots of light rather than pulling the covers over our heads is one way to proactively ward of seasonal affective disorder. Third, you feel blue. An overall feeling of sadness can be a warning sign of seasonal affective disorder. What distinguishes seasonal affective disorder from other forms of depression is it's primarily and not exclusively a function of time of the year and geographic location. And as the weather becomes darker and gloomier, people who suffer from seasonal affective disorder will become gloomier themselves. Fourth, anxiety is your primary companion. We all worry, that's normal. But if you feel your anxiety spiral out of control in the darker, colder months year after year, you may want to consult a professional about seasonal affective disorder. According to the Anxiety and Depression Association of America, anxiety is the most common form of mental illness affecting around 40 million adults in the United States. And while about 20% of the population suffers from some sort of anxiety disorder, less than 40% seeks treatment. Fifth, troubles concentrating. Researchers at Northwestern University in Chicago found in 2013 study that employees are more productive and enjoy greater vitality when exposed to natural light. If you're commuting to and from the office in the dark and don't have the luxury of sitting near a big sunny window while you work, the lack of daylight exposure can wreck your sleep at night. It can also leave you feeling irritable and make it harder to concentrate, according to research from Vanderbilt University. 6. Craving carbs When you're tired, your body naturally craves quick energy. And the quickest of all energy sources is simple carbs like donuts and chips. Since we also tend to be less active in winter, a combination of carbs and lying around can cause us to pack on the pounds. Instead of embracing carbohydrates, build meals around foods rich in omega-3 fats, such as salmons, sardines, and walnuts. These will support the production of the feel-good neurochemical serotonin. The amino acid tryptophan is a building block for serotonin. You can get more from turkey, eggs, and spinach. Have you ever encountered any of the earlier mentioned signs? Let us know in the comments below!